12.9% of American children between the age of 12 and 17 were on some form of medication prescribed by their pediatrician or they, their psychologist for either behavior, mental, think about that, 12.9. One out of every six American adults are on some form of psychiatric medication. That's 40 million Americans. So hello everybody, my name is Samantha. I am the owner operator of a two acre farmstead located in Southeast Louisiana. I have a master's plus 21 in education, specifically special education, early childhood, regular and ESL, which is English as a second language. I wanna to talk to you about this because I just realized how serious this is. And you and I are in agreement, Senator. And to your point that you made when you made these statements, it was not based on good science. I don't know what I, it was I based on. I was saying on. the science needed to be done. I was saying these are potential culprits that were coterminous. And I named other things. I said video games. I said social media. I said SSRIs. The SSRIs have a black box warning. Warning of suicidal. Mr. Chair, Mr. Chair. The human brain can transfer delusions. We can transfer emotions, especially when there is shared trauma. And psychotropics, psychi psychiatric medications can cause that to happen more often. So hear me out. One out of six adults are medicated. They wanna push a narrative or a feeling or a thought or a delusion, a shared delusion, a shared trauma. Whether that trauma is real or not is beside the point. Think about the push in the black community. They're now pushing this ancestral, my ancestors speak to me, which we all know is are demons, but they have shared historical ancestral trauma. Then you have people claiming that white people are genetic. It's genetic that they have to hold down other races. It's a delusion. By the way, I was demonetized for videos just like this. A lot of people who recently found me, you may think I was demonetized for me hitting back at all the white hate and the racism and the ghetto-ness that we're having to deal with in America. I was already demonetized when I broached those topics. I was actually demonetized for talking about women protecting themselves when their husbands or sons weren't in the home with them. They had a real problem with me giving women the knowledge they needed to care for themselves. If you didn't see my earlier video, I am now being physically threatened and not just by some stranger on the internet, but by people in my own community for having an issue with my speaking out against organized crime and murders in my community. So we are going shopping tomorrow for something with a little more oomph to it for home protection. If you would like to donate to that, I mean, I'm, just, I'm not gonna lie to you, that's what it's for. Look in the top of comments, every single dollar helps me protect me and mine a little bit better. And it's so much easier to do so through the medications. Now, the most medicated group of people in America are liberal white women. I don't even need to say anything that would make YouTube take my video down or demonetize me because every one of you just went, oh, yeah, yeah. That's called a Holy Spirit download. That's called the Lord showing me something and a connection connecting things. So now you have to impress, impress of children. Children can be molded, manipulated. That is what the Department of Education has legitimately done with your kids for 80 years. We know that the CIA used drugs on people in prison and the military, even their own, without consent to test and see what these doses would do. I just showed you a clip of the now HHS head of secretary, right? What did he say? There is a black box warning. Suicide, homicide. 
of getting off of heroin. It's the, the withdrawal period is, I mean, and, and it's written on have, the label. I have some experience very with well this documented. myself. You've got children age 12 to 17 medicated for every imaginable thing, depression, anxiety. So here is my question. If you wanted to manipulate people, cause them to lose control, you just need 10% of a group of people to change the direction the group is going. That has been studied extensively. A lying fucking tyrant! June 14th, be fucking mobilized! Nationwide! Loud, disruptive, fierce! This isn't a political issue! It's a fucking humanitarian emergency! We rise the fuck up and we do not stop! So what am I saying? All the people in the world, 8 billion people, you only need 10% of that 8 billion to thoroughly believe in something, to hoorah it, to row in the boat with that, and it can change the world, the entire direction the world is going. Now imagine what evil can do when we know that the human mind can share delusions. I've actually done street drugs, and I've seen it happen. There's something... And I'm not making fun because I've dealt with it myself. It's called tree people. Meth heads, especially crackheads sometimes, but almost always meth heads. One person notices them first. Then everybody in that group, it is like a shared delusion. Everybody sees the tree people. Now you add in mainstream media, TikTok. White people have always prioritized pets over black people. Not as a joke, as policy, as culture, as strategy. That's not a quirk. That's colonial memory at work. That's whiteness distributing empathy based on control. If you or your loved ones are on some form of Medication, I highly suggest you figure out how to get off of it. We can manipulate you. You're malleable. We can, they can put messages into you much easier. I'm not judging you. I was an addict for years. I'm only sharing with you what the Lord just showed me. Okay? Do with it whatever you want. I don't want, I love to hear people's stories. What I'm trying to say is please don't try to justify. I don't know you. I don't know what you're taking. So don't feel the need to knee jerk a 12 page book and comments about why you have to. Okay. <laughs> like it's not that big of a deal, but it really is. I'm just saying, if you want to know why things are happening at the pace they're happening, it's because of the amount of people currently medicated the way that they are. And we all know, we're all adults here, right? We all know that a woman can lead a man by his nose quite easily. It's just how God made us. So you've got liberal white women medicated to the, to the umpty dozen ways, right? And then you have weak beta males at their calling. I'm just saying. Truth hurts, doesn't it? But it will set you free. Love you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video.